What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we, we did a lot. We did a lot, a lot, and uh, yeah, we're going to continue doing a lot more because, well, technically, we're in the Pokemon League playoffs, and that all got stopped. Well, the championship battle got stopped because, well, shit's going down right here. Now, you're going to be seeing both cut screens for both Pokemon Sword and Shield. Right now, as you can see, I am playing Pokemon Sword, right? Yes, I am playing Pokemon Sword. And there's going to be bits and pieces where you're going to be seeing both cut screens. That way, you know, nothing feels left out or anything like that. So, let's go ahead and continue our adventure right here. We are in the Slumbering Wield, and as you probably already remember, our good old buddy, not so good old buddy, uh, Hop, has went along right here now. I can just whistle. Look at that. That's right. Whistle, whistle. Now, the last time we were in here, we actually met one of the legendary Pokemon. Can't pronounce his name right now, but if you guys can't tell, look at that. There are a lot of items or a lot of Pokemon that are trying to attack us now. As you can see, we did not pass this portion, or we didn't get past this portion right here. It got super foggy until we actually met one of these legendary Pokemon right here. So now... What we have to do is we actually have to skip through. These guys are like reading my mind and everything. So let's go ahead and continue it right here. Look at that. Somebody's just jumping up and down. And it was right here where we met the legendary Pokemon. Now, if you go a little bit even further, we might just see some different Pokemon right here. You see the fog's not thickening anymore. It's looking pretty cool. And, well, let's see. There's nothing right here. Holy crap. Still trying to figure out where the hell am I supposed to go, and well, this this area right here doesn't have the controls like the Pokemon the Pokemon area. But look at this—we are finding ourselves some newer Pokemon, and they are going to be a lot a little bit stronger than the Pokemon that we we found in the beginning. But look at this—something shiny. There is a wheezing right there, a full restore we have found. And you know what? Let's go ahead and take a look at what we can actually find right here, except for the Pokemon. Now I already got myself a wheezing. I actually evolved this Pokemon. Or actually evolved coughing a while back while I was doing stuff. And, well, look at this. We can actually fish right here. And, well, let's see what kind of Pokemon we found. And look at that. It is a Whiskash right here. Not going to mess with him because I think I already have this guy on my, well, in my box or anything like that. If you guys remember, holy crud, we have, uh, yeah, we have uh, trained our Pokemon. Like a lot, a lot. And, well... I was thinking to myself, can we surf right here? Yeah, I have a bike. Again, guys, I kind of forget from time to time that, you know, we don't have any surfing anymore. And, well, let's see. We're definitely going to find some Pokemon right here. Look at this. We found ourselves another Galarian Weezing. Grab this, and we found ourselves a Life Orb, which you guys can actually use for a Pokemon. It boosts the power of moves, but it costs some HP on each hit. So, that right there is a double whammy because it will make you powerful, but at a huge cost if you do get hit. So, let's go right ahead and move on to every little thing. A little crevice and everything. Look at that. We're finding a lot of items. Look at this. A Misty Seed. This uh, this can actually help you with boosting the special, uh, special defense in a Misty Terrain. It can only be used once, meaning if you guys are doing any Gigantamax battling and, you know, the terrain were to actually change to Misty, then, well, boom, there it is. And look at that, we found ourselves a Sinnoh po or a, a Unova Pokemon, Muna. And, well, I already have this guy on my team. Not on my team, but box again. My collection of Pokemon and all that crud. And, well, I'm just trying to escape all these guys right here. Look, look at this. We are finding a boatload of Weezing. So if you guys haven't caught Galarian Weezing and you need that on your team, this is the place to go. And, well, let's see. These guys are popping out of nowhere. Now, right now, I kind of want to get myself items first before I before I, I move on to anything else. Now, this right here. Hold on just a sec. Yep. Kind of figured it's a, what was that, Trampage? No, not a Trampage, but, uh, holy crud, there's a uh, Corvid Knight right there. I didn't know that. Trying to get away from this guy, and look at this. We can actually go through this tree stump, which I actually like. And we have found this, an elixir, and well, there's something else around this area that we need to get. 
And look at that. We found ourselves the TM86 Phantom Force. A very good move for Ghost Side Pokemon. The user vanishes uh, somewhere, then strikes the target with the next turn. This move is e hits even if it targets it, uh, pro or if the target protects itself. So, detect, target, or not detect, or, or detect or protect. You know those two moves. They not useful against that move right there. So let's move on. I think we're getting closer to where we need to be. And look at that. There is our quote-unquote good old buddy, but I kind of don't want to talk to him right now. There's no item right there. Okay, so we need to talk to this guy. So as you can see, Hop is like, what's with this fog? It's even worse than the first time we came here. Not really. I mean, the first time we came here, fog thickened up, and then boom, we got ambushed. Well, look at this. The fog is thickening up right now, and here we are into the next cut screen. Lord, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm just embarrassing myself. They're really here, the Sword and Shield Pokemon. I knew it. Oh, would you look at that. They disappear into the fog. And, of course, Hop is like, Hey, where are you going? We need your help over here. You two. What in the world are you doing? What? Come off it, Sonya. You must have seen that, right? Those, those, po those sword and shield Pokemon, they are right in front of us. But then they disappeared into the forest. Hop, you are sure, are you sure uh, you haven't lost your, pl your plot? Pretty sure that's like lost your mind or something. There was no one here but you two. What? Then, where the where are those uh, just illusions or something? Listen, I dug into some literature from the other regions and I finally found something. Mentions of the sword Pokemon Zacian and the shield Pokemon called Zamazenta. Now, if I'm butchering these names, I do apologize. Again, good old Draven is very illiterate and all that crud. The writing said that those two Pokemon were born somewhere beyond the slumbering wield. Sometime long, long ago. Did they? Really? Sonya, thanks for digging into it. Even if it's just an illusion or, or whatever, we did manage to find a Pokemon again. Maybe the Sword and Shield Pokemon that those are... Uh, or maybe the, the Sword and Shield are those uh, two used to carry are still here too. I can't even read, goddamn. Sorry guys for butchering all this, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's go right ahead and uh, move on right here. As you can see, there is a little bit more. You can actually fish right here. Not going to do that right now, but we are entering into some unknown territory. And it's more of legendary territory. And here we go. Alrighty, would you take a look at that, Draven? Now that's something you don't see every day. This place definitely feels like stu the, the stuff of legend. So, if you guys notice in the cut screens, we are here in the Rusted Sword, or the Rusted Sword in Pokemon Sword, and we are in the Rusted Shield in Pokemon Shield. Now, similarities differences and all that stuff it's all the same but if you come over here you're definitely gonna find some legendary stuff now we gotta step over right here see that Draven the sword and shield the legends are were really true This is a nice scenery, by the way. Very nice scenery, but this is where everything starts taking place right here. Now, once we step forward... You can see that, well, in Pokemon Sword, I've collected the Rusted Sword. And in Pokemon C Shield, I've I collected the Rusted Shield. Again, different versions, same kind of out outcome, different 
things and all that crud. So, let's see. I'm not going to read both of these because I'm not. I'm actually not looking at it at both of, both of these at the same time. But there is the description of the rusted sword and the rusted shield. Yes, it is. Uh, well, the hero, the heroes, and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, there's Hop now. If you guys can tell, it, it's both different right here. He's going to collect the, uh, the item that you haven't used. As you can see, that settles, uh, that settles it. I'm taking the shield, or in Pokemon sh uh, uh, Shield, he's taking the sword. And, though, wow, would you look at the state of this thing? It seems like it might fall into uh, fall to pieces if you uh, so much uh, so much as look at it funny. I don't know if, they, if these rusty old things will really be able to stop the darkest day, but... Well, I guess it can't hurt to have them along. Let's hope they bring us some good luck. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so we got the items. And Hop, of course, is going to be like, maybe the Pokemon themselves really, really are still asleep somewhere. So it seems we're on our own if we want to go help Lee. This is all the help we got. Okay, so... We've got the items, and that is a pretty darn good cut screen right there. So, the next thing we have to do is we actually have to go back to Hammerlock. So, we're going to get the heck out of this place right here. Now that we've collected the Rusted Sword or the Rusted Shield, we are enabled to go into the next, uh, you know, event into this game right here. And one big thing is that we have to get the heck out of here now. Uh, escape rope, I probably won't be using it. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'll find an item that I'm missing right here. Pretty sure that there's more, but there are some Pokemon right here that you you could capture. You probably already didn't capture or didn't evolve or anything like that. Remember, lots of strong Pokemon. And uh, look at that. Found ourselves a mental herb. Something that could be used for our Pokemon right here, which I'm probably not going to be using. And, well, there are Pokemon right next to us. And, yes, we get hit pretty hard with the Muna right here. Already captured you, homie. Don't need to battle you. Okay, okay, so let's get the heck out of here. I would love to battle him, but no, that's not going to be the it's not going to be the case right there. So now here we are. Let's see. Getting the heck out of here, evading everybody I can see. Look at that. Ooh. And yeah, what I did. Wow, a Corviknight. Or Shadow Chicken or Shadow Blade. For sure or anything like that. I did nickname them different nicknames and all that stuff, so. Let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here, because that Pokemon will destroy us. And, well, let's see, let's see. Who else can we find right here? Nothing else. Oh, yeah, we're towards the very end right here. And, well, let's see. Going left and right. Going everywhere, because I can, and all that crud. So, yes, we are hearing a different Pokemon right there. We're going to be stepping on some weaker Pokemon here, too. Look at that, the Grubin. I haven't, ba haven't battled you in quite some time. Alrighty, so not going to mess with you because you're level two now. I I don't want to seem like the meme where like my petty ass level uh a level uh two Machop or Zubat and me using a Hyper Beam. And why in the hell did I do that? I don't know. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here. We're close. We are very very close. Just let's not just hit any Pokemon. God dang it. Yeah, this is the point where I need to actually change it up and uh, and, it, and edit these scenes. But you know what? It's in the next walkthrough. Hopefully, very, very soon right here. So, let us move out of here. And look at that. Finally out of here. Okay, so, here we are in Postwick. And, well, I think that's pretty much it what we need to do right here. Now, we actually have to go back to Hammerlock. And luckily for us, we actually do have uh, the service to get there now. Hammerlock is a little bit further ahead right here. Again, do not like the map. But look at this. The Corviknight Express is taking us to Hammerlock. And that will be our next mission, guys. So stay tuned. We got some work to do. And I mean work work. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.